Hello everyone, this is Akash here from BlenderSchool.cf and in this Blender tutorial, I'm going to be using, using the compositor as a photo editor to convert this image into this. Now this video is just for fun and I'm not going to be modeling anything. We're just going to be using the compositor as a photo editor. So, um, let's open up a new scene in Blender and um, now just, uh, we're not going to be modeling anything so we don't need the 3D viewport so just change this default to be compositing and bring your arrow above the node editor and press shift and spacebar together just to zoom in and get a full screen view by the way now we're just gonna be using the compositor and a row of nodes just to convert this image to this you're gonna be applying the frame uh, changing the brightness gamma colors and everything flipping the image and a lot of things so I'm just gonna be showing you all of that I'm gonna be explaining about some notes so let's get started then so all right so now we are in the node editor this is the compositor uh, check use nodes and uh, it'll give you a basic node setup and we don't need this. so select both of both of these nodes by holding down shift and right clicking then press X okay so it'll delete the nodes now let's import this image into blender so to do that, press Shift A and from input, select Image. This node will help us to import the image into Blender. Click on Open and then open your image. I'm going to be using the image. Um, so the balls image, the colorful balls one. So let me open it. Um, yeah. So I have it here. If you want, you can download this from blenderskill.cf. I'll provide you a link in the description from where you can download this. Now let's connect the viewer node to this. So press Ctrl, Shift and uh, uh, left click on the image node to connect the viewer node to this. Just place it over here and check backdrop. Now you can see the image. So let's start by changing the saturation, okay? So uh, add in a hue saturation value node. So to do that, press Shift A and then from color, select Hue Saturation Value. Now, we are, we are going to be editing the colors now. So whatever node which I'm going to be using now is in this color section, okay? So we are going to be changing only the saturation and if you just change this value, you can see what it does now. So it's it's going to make the colors more, more brighter or more darker, I should say, more saturated. That's the, uh, that's the proper word. So I'm going to be using only 1.05 and if you see that there's a slight different difference in this blue ball you can see there's some slight difference. If I change it to be something like 2 you can see that it has become more saturated which is not nice. So I'm going to be using 1.05 in a way so it's nice. Now let's add in a color balance node. So press shift A again in color select color balance. So just place it over here and just change these color wheels. So the first one will change the lift, uh, the second one the gamma and the third one gain, okay? So for the first color wheel, the lift one, just change it to be slight yellow, okay? So this is gonna just make the environment more yellowish, I guess so. And the gain to be the opposite of that, that is a bit blue. So now you can see the difference. It was like this and now it has become yellow. So all the colors are more clear now and more saturated it's looking pretty cool now. now as you can see it's becoming more darker so I'm gonna add in a brightness and a contrast node so press shift A and from color again select brightness contrast bright contrast place it over here I'm gonna be editing the contrast to be about minus 0.5 okay very very slight change but still you can use this and then next is the gamma node so again press shift A color gamma place it over here and we're gonna be using about 0.9 now it's looking much better so let me just show you what we have done so we started out with this image we added here we made it more saturated we used the color balance now to edit the colors a bit then we changed the contrast and the gamma okay but the next thing which you're gonna be doing is, um, is scaling it okay now you may be thinking that uh, uh, in my final image I also flipped it 
you can see the yellow ball is over here while the white one is here and the original image white one is here and this now this step is not so necessary but still I'm going to be showing it to you so for doing this you can press shift A and now in distort now we're going to be using the distort section okay uh, select flip and place it over here and that's just going to flip your image that's not so important but I'm just going to use it for now next thing which you're going to be doing is scaling it now there's a scale node in Blender so to add that press shift A distort scale place it over here and now if you see this image is very small compared to this frame now this frame I created it in GIMP by just overlapping some uh, rectangles adding some drop shadow very basic if you want you can download this from my site I'll provide you a link uh, in the description now this frame is too big compared to this image so we need to we need to use a standard size so that we can overlap this uh, with this so we're gonna be using this scale and one standard value that standard value is gonna be this render size okay just select the render size and then select fit now this render size is similar to if uh, uh, this this resolution over here if you edit these values even this size will change basically so now we have scaled it now let's just use an RGB curves node to make it more brighter so shift a color RGB curves place it over here and I'm just gonna edit this curve somewhat like that to make it more bad. I think that's too much as much as nice now so it's looking pretty cool and if, uh, if you want to zoom in or zoom out uh, 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 if you want to zoom in or zoom out then you can press V it's gonna just zoom out and Alt V to zoom in okay in this image now let's add in the frame now this uh, we're gonna be adding this frame okay I created it in GIMP if you want you can download this frame as I told you and it's pretty simple it's some rectangles some black and white rectangles some slight drop shadow over here so let's start by importing it to blender so again I'm gonna be using this image node over here press shift D to duplicate it and place it just below uh, this whole node okay there's all these nodes um, click on open and then open the frame image so just gonna open it and now if I just connect it to the viewer node you can't see anything because if you zoom out by pressing V now you can see now this frame is too big okay so if we just combine it with this image it won't look good so that's why let's bring it to the standard size and I told you that the standard size is gonna be this render size okay so just duplicate this scale node and also place it over here now this is the frame okay frame node so now as you can see both of them are on the same size so now we can overlap it so as you can see it's proper now you can overlap both of them so just come over here now this is a big uh, row of nodes I guess so to mix this with the frame add in uh, alpha over node okay now to add that press shift A then from color select alpha over don't use mix because in this case mix is not gonna be the thing which we want okay it's gonna give us some awkward results so we don't want it so we're gonna be using alpha over just place it over here between RGB curves and viewer node and then we can take this scale node I bring it here this is for the frame just put it in the bottom input and as you can see that's done now so our image is pretty much ready I like it and uh, if you want you can edit it more by just changing some of these values if you want to uh, if you don't want the contrast you can put zero yeah this looks nice now um, let's use minus point two I guess pretty nice you can experiment with all these values if you don't want to flip your image you can just delete this node or uh, just select this node and press M now Blender is going to ignore this node so that's cool and now if you want to save this image um, it's pretty distorted over here and now it's pretty fine and why now no, it's fine so to save this image change the node editor to be the UV image editor 
and click on this button and select view and mode. Now as you can see we have the edited image. To save it press F3 and uh, select your directory. I'm just going to be saving it here. I'm just going to write tutorial png. I'm also going to be saving my blend file. So file save. Um, so that's nice so uh, so the tutorial is finished guys I hope you all enjoyed it it's a very simple one I just used the compositor as a photo editor it was pretty fun using it so let me just show you what we did again so we started out with this dull image we used the hue saturation value to just edit the saturation then the color balance node to edit the colors then we edited the contrast using the bright contrast node then the gamma then we flipped it which wasn't necessary also so if you want you can flip your image uh, okay let's flip it off for now then we scaled it to a standard size which was the render size so after that we got this result and then we used the RGB curves node finally to make it a bit more brighter and for the frame we imported the frame which was pretty large in size as you can see um, pretty big and then we use the scale node to again bring it to the standard size which is the render size and then I use the alpha over node to just mix both of the both of these images together okay and finally we have this result is cool if you want to download any of the files this uh, this frame or this boys picture if uh, you want to download you can head over to blenderschool.cf and you can download it from there and I hope you all enjoyed this video thanks for watching